Kolo, Yahweh Shai, the monster of the men that gave life for his truth, pioneers of his truth. Then Yahweh Shai shall rise first, and the monster is the great most one that told me the truth. And honestly, he out there teaching the house of David, 144,000, by after Adam, and one third men, women, children, part of the elect. And to the Israelite, four in the sky and four corners of the earth, confusing the faces, looking like the other nations. Are the Israelites going back to the seed of their father, to one of the twelve tribes of Israel, speaking in different tongues, different languages? Uh, as part of the church, basically, yeah, man, this uh, this race war is coming, man. You know what I mean? Over here, we have torch lit protests held in Virginia over statue removal, Robert Lee statue removal, man. Because with these Confederate statues being moved, man, it, it's rousing up these Edomites to 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 get pissed off, man. It's getting them pissed. And to do some shit, man. You know? But this race war is, in, is, in, is inevitable, man. It's in the scriptures, man. It's in the scriptures. You know? But Jacob is going to win this race war, according to the Bible. All right? According to the Bible, according to the scriptures, Jacob is going to win this race war, man. You devils are going to lose horribly. But over here, the white supremacists, the KKK, they, they have a, a bunch of torch-lit... They have torch lit uh, protests, man. Protesting against these uh, Confederate removal of the Confederate statues. Esau, you gonna Esau, you gonna lose this race war, man. Ezekiel twenty five and twelve does save the Lord Yahweh because that Edom, as you as you read, devils, you Rothschilds, you, you, you Edomites, but it's all about actually you physical Edomites that's gonna be in this physical race war here on earth, like these KKK holding up the torches, protesting, man, thinking that they're gonna win this race war. Them gun hole hillbilly Edomites, man. You think they're gonna these Confederate Edomites? You think they're gonna win this race war, man? You're gonna lose according to the Bible. What the Bible says, what the scriptures say, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, because that Edom had dealt had dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, I will I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom, and will cut off man and beast from it, and it will make it desolate from Teman, and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord, Yahweh. And I will lay, let me read that again. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury. And they shall know the vengeance, saith the Lord, Yahweh. The Lord's going to bring this vengeance, man. He's bringing this uh, judgment. You torch lit KKK, white supremacists, Edomites. That's what you are. You're Edomites. You're not white. You're not the KKK. You're white. You're not, I mean, you're not white. You're Esau. You're the you're Edomites. I said white because you've been perpetrating a fraud, man. Calling yourselves white. Calling yourselves, uh, uh, because you KKK, you think you're Jacob, man. You would say that you're Jacob. But you're Esau, man. See, nobody wants to be Esau, man. But the acts and, and the shit that you've done in this world proves that you're that you're Esau, man. And you're not white. You're black. Your actions show forth, man. Starting with you elite Edomites, you Rothschilds, elites, and the whole house of Esau. You're going down, man. There's nothing you can do. You're getting all mad. You're getting all pissed for the removal of these Confederate statues. But the Most High is doing that, man. The rise your spirit up. Because this great race war is at the door. It's prophesying in the scriptures. Nations shall rise against nation. Jacob versus Esau. The Lord deals with nations. Not with black, not with white. No such thing as black and white people. It's nations of people. And Jacob and Esau are going to go head up. Torch lit, man. You know, he's getting that, that, that southern confederate spirit, man. Hanging Jake on trees, which they've been doing. All, all these instances with, with Jake's, with Israelite teens. Boys and girls being hung from trees. Them two confederates hanging that Israelite sister from the from the from the noose. Put a noose around her neck with the confederate flag in the back, which it could be fake. That video, or whatever they're saying, is fake or whatever. That's not the point. Even if that video is fake, these Edomites are getting into that spirit, man. Put nooses around Jake's necks and hanging. Jake gonna start turning around hanging Esau. Nooses, man. Race war is inevitable, man. It's in the scriptures, man. We're living in the time of prophecies, man. Living in the time of prophecies, man.
It's going to be a revolution. It's going to be a civil war, class war, race war. It's prophesying the scriptures, man. That's how this place is going to go down. It was built with violence. It's going to go down in violence, man. That's the balance. So torch, man. Torch lids. Protesters.